हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज वी ऑलरेडी नो ह्यूमन जोग्राफी इज ऑल अबाउट मैन एंड एनवायरमेंटल रिलेशनशिप्स सो फार वी हैव स्टडी द एनवायरमेंटल डिटर्मिनिज्म वेयर एनवायरमेंट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्स डोमिनेंट फोर्स और सुप्रीम फोर्स एंड मैन इज ए पैसिव एजेंट सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू चेंज द नरेटिव एज मैन बाई हिज नॉलेज हिज टेक्निक्स हिज एक्सपीरियंस बाई हिज इनोवेशन he can use all the resources that nature provide him so this will lead to a approach called possibilism so who are possibilist people who thinks that man is active and nature is passive in man and environmental relationship so these are called the possibilist who thinks that the nature provide the resources and we can use the resources and we can do some growth so all the possibilist are different from or we can say that very opposite from environmental determinism let's see from some examples country you name already know israel in israel there is not so much resources Uh, i like water there is scarcity of water so irrigation is not possible in israel but man innovate a new thing a uh, drip system so why irrigation system they developed of dripping system israel now consider as a developed country so what is why this is happen because of man's technique and innovation he turn the opportunity into possibilities so we can say some more example of dubai dubai is a very hot country there is no much rainfall and also not much water available like drinking water is also very big problem in dubai but people of dubai by by their techniques they can use the sea water and filter them to use drinking water so dubai is also one of the developed country in india we have some example like rajasthan in rajasthan there is not so much rainfall but men developed a canal indira gandhi canal the biggest of india in term of canal so in indira gandhi command area there is can be irrigation they can cultivate rice wheat and rajasthan become much happier state by this by this indira gandhi canal so all these are example of possibilism you can see your all around lot of uh, cities transportation sea waterways aeroplanes all these are example of possibilism so now mr february was the first one who opposed environmental determinism and coined a new term possibilism so according to mr february there is no necessity but possibility everywhere second one nature provide resources 
and man by his technique innovation experience can use these resources for their well being and for their development so the next one is mr fevre thought that man is active agent and nature is passive agent in possibilism approach so all these the example or you may say the definition are given by mr fevre another french geographer paul de la balash a french geographer who spot possibilism and gave some new approaches let us see according to paul de la blas nature is not dictator uh, there is not extreme conditions provided by nature man can use anywhere his techniques for example in the tundra region there is lot of snowfall and low temperature but man can use their greenhouse and in greenhouse he can grow some vegetable and fruits similarly there is lot of example from humid conditions or hot condition man can use air conditioner so from where air conditioner come it is an innovation but who provide resources first the nature creates the temperature and man by his skills the innovate air conditioner so paul de la blas is a supporter of possibilism there is one more thing you have to keep in mind in in possibilism that nature give us some conditions for example rainfall and man use umbrella by his skills and innovation now umbrella can't stop the rainfall this is you have to keep in mind that nature will do his work but man somehow manages to escape from natural extremes this is called possibilism let's see criticism of possibilism increasing of greenhouse gas it will lead to two things global warming or global cooling what are these two terms as we all know that by man's effort there is lot of lot of aerosols lot of dust particles lot of gases greenhouse gases are emit in the environment so in our environment there is lot of agents that can make the earth globally warm but it will also do a effect that when the sun rays come to our environment these aerosols can reflect the sun rays back to the space this is called albedo of the earth so here we see that 
if the aer aerosol keeps increasing the temperature inside the earth will increase but also on the same time it can reduce the amount of sun rays to the earth this can lead to the global cooling in our next decades or centuries so these which of this thing is happening we cannot say yet this is a new study done by some scientists that the more and more aerosols or dust particles gases increase in our environment it can lead to the global cooling we may enter a new ice age after some time so criticism of possibilism is the second one the glacier melting or increase in disease a lot of few all the environmental problems that we are facing are all caused by possibilism by the more activeness of human so this is possibilism approach in human geography 